The other example, um, done the same way, you're going to still multiply by 2 plus 5i, which is the conjugate of the denominator, but you need to do that to the top. I will see people sometimes say, oh, I'll take the conjugate of this and the conjugate of that. We well, just change the problem completely. The goal here is to find the um, um, find the conjugate of the denominator so the denominator can be a whole number and then the top just sort of becomes uh, an I term along the way. So uh, foiling I get a 4, the outer gives me a plus uh, 10i, the inner then gives me a minus 10i, that goes away as normal, and then a minus 25i squared. We know that should become that should become uh, plus 25. On the bottom, plus 25. Or on the top, we're going to foil that. That's a 2. The outer is a plus 5i. The inner is a plus 6i. The last is a plus 15i squared. That becomes a minus 15. So we clean that up a little bit. The 2 and the 15 become 13, a negative 13. The 5i and the 6i become 11i, and on the bottom, you got your 4 and your 25, which is, uh, which is 29, and these things go away, so all you have is a 29. That then is the simplified form, and again, if you took it another step, negative 13 over 29 plus 11 over 29.